The current president of the United States does not spend much time in the office or much time doing traditional work. We know this from the recent leaks of Donald Trump's own calendars showing 60 percent of Trump's daily schedule reserved for time where he avoids meetings or assigned work in order to watch TV and make phone calls. The White House dubs it executive time. Now, four more of his daily schedules have leaked, showing Trump's workout routine in the very week of the State of the Union. And half of those days were filled with, well, the same amount of free executive time, including seven hours of it the very day of the State of the Union. Now, soon after this news was discussed on Fox, Trump tweeted about it. Axios publishes more of President Trump's private schedules. The document dump coming hours after the acting White House chief of staff said they are close to finding the source of the leaks. Donald Trump seems wounded by this release of his schedules, which actually, when you think about it, seems to confirm there's something to hide. After all, any good self-promoter would want to embrace attention for any internal document that might show hard work or a grueling schedule. Trump appears to actually be aware that these schedules show the opposite. And this is deeper than mere time management. Trump has failed to do basic parts of the job of the president, like fill presidential appointees, after two years on the job, which shows that even on matters that could serve his base, Donald Trump can't seem to find the time or the energy to even staff his own administration. Joining me now is a political commentator and activist, Sally Cohn. She's also an author of the book, The Opposite of Hate, A Field Guide to Repairing Our Humanity. Uh, and I happen to know you as someone who does work hard. I mean, I, I, I do, do try, but uh, as, as do you, clearly. Well, what do you make of this part of the presidency? I'm not talking about his ideology. I'm not talking about the way he disparages people and all these other things that get so much attention. What about the fact that he's not going to work that much? Well, I mean, those other things that we talk about are actually incredibly important, right? And let's be very, very clear here. I'm more worried, and we, I think we all should be, about what Donald Trump actually does when he is working than what he's doing with his massive amount of executive are you Are you, as a critic, happy that he's not filling those posts, for example? Heck to the yeah! I mean, <laughs> I'm happy he's not filling I'm happy he's just doing nothing for at least 50% of his day. Are By you, the way, bro, that, being, wait, 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 wait. that being the part we're missing in this is that it, for, for, for like the first data dump, it showed 60% of his time was executive uh, time. Yeah. And so then there's a, a new leak after they say they're going to go get the leaker. This new leak is like the nanny nanny boo boo of leaks. There's a new leak and it's now down to 50%. 50 right. So Trump is, I just, he's making an effort Let me get my headline here. straight though. Are you <laughs> pro executive time? I'm I am pro Donald Trump doing whatever it is he's doing that is keeping him from further uh, causing a train wreck uh, that is his presidency. Well, then let me right? show so, you. So, I mean, let me show you. I don't want him to work that hard. Let me show you for very different reasons. You know, we'd like to find overlaps here for very different reasons. Uh, some of the folks at Fox News also <laughs> also feel warmly yeah. uh, about it. I think for different reasons, but take a look. It sounds a lot like work. <laughs> I mean, he's reading the papers. He does watch a lot of television. Who cares how he runs his schedule as long as he gets things done? Do more of it. Have more executive time, I say. Listen, wh yeah. whatever, whatever the president needs to, to be president is fine. He came from an unstructured atmosphere. The guy is the hardest working person right. there is. And what, just because you don't have a scheduled event? Oh, come on. I mean, look, I'm, I'm half joking, but I'm actually being serious. I really don't want him to work that much harder. Can you imagine how much worse it would be if he did? Now, that being said, what does disturb me, and, and let's, let's also be clear, as your clip shows, this is a little bit of partisan theater here, right? Like, it's not like the internal schedules of past presidents, including Barack Obama, were that chock-a-block with activity, right? So a lot of this is private. It, it, the details aren't shared even internally, and that's in a way as it should be. Now, the problem is, is what we know Trump is doing with his time. For instance, he's not taking intelligence briefings. He's not taking a daily, even George W. Bush took a daily intelligence briefing. And the whole briefing, Trump wants the, the, the mini cartoon version, and he only wants it every couple of days. That's a problem. In the week of the State of the Union, he, when there are lots of global threats brewing uh, that he fear-mongered about during his talk, he spent less time in intelligence briefings than he spent with Stephen Miller, the, uh, you know, alt-right architect of all of the fear-mongering and anti-immigrant stuff going on in our country. So that's the kind of thing that actually disturbs me is what he's doing when he actually is working as well. But there's no question, this is a, this is a dumpster fire of a presidency. And this, for those of us who already believe that on substance, just goes to prove it on style. Mm. 
And you agree with all your Fox friends, then? <laughs> well, I don't, I, I mean, I'm, this is always the paradox of Trump, right? It's like, I don't want the, and as Stacey Abrams said, I don't want the presidency to fail. Right. I certainly don't want a president who is so hell bent on caging children, uh, stoking Islamophobia, undermining women's rights, destroying the environment. I don't want him to succeed. I don't want him to put his nose to the grindstone and work even harder mm -hmm. on that agenda. He's having a destructive enough impact as is. Right. Well, no, and I think you, you mark, mark it. Interestingly, and I think people have a range of views of trying to understand, this isn't a story where you just have an automatic reaction. Sally Cohn, uh, I've known you a while around media and politics. Thanks for your nice first time on The Beat. Nice to see you, man. I'd love to have you back. Wait, hang on, I'm gonna show the mug. <laughs> it's a big logo, oh, look. Yeah. That's an enthusiastic guest right there. Hey, I'm Ari Melber from MSNBC. You can see more of our videos right here, or better yet, subscribe to our YouTube channel below. You could have been anywhere in the world, but you're here with us, and we appreciate that.